Hi, Jessica. How are you doing today? I'm okay. You're okay? Yes. I understand you've been having some difficulty with some symptoms lately. Yes. Can you tell me about that? Well, I've been having, I've been having a lot of anxiety. Just been stressed out lately, irritable. You name it, I have it. Um, the thing that's been troubling me the most though are these memories that don't seem to go away. No matter what I do, I just keep remembering this event and it's, it's really taking a toll on me. So you're having anxiety and a lot of other symptoms and you're having intrusive memories. Can you tell me about the event? Well, I was in a car accident a couple months ago and it was a pretty bad accident, but I was okay. I didn't get injured. Mm -hmm. My car was messed up really bad. Um, the driver of the other car, I think they were injured pretty bad, more, more severe than I was. And um, I just can't seem to get that accident out of my mind. Does it, does it keep replaying? That accident? Yes, over and over. Can you tell me about how that, how you're experiencing that? Well, I could be just in the kitchen making a pot of coffee, and you know, all of a sudden, I'm I'm back there in the accident. I'm back in the car with the airbags deployed and sirens mm -hmm. coming from a distance, and I I try to shake that feeling, and and I just can't. And that just overwhelms me so much that I can't do anything. I just have to go and, and sit down and, and I'm stuck in the house, just scared to, to do anything. So these times when you're reliving the accent, does something, does something trigger that or does that happen just on its own? It, it, sometimes things trigger it and sometimes they just come out of nowhere. I mean, I could be watching watching a movie and there's a bad car accident and I start thinking about it or uh -huh. I could be just doing nothing and the memories, they, they just come back like full force. So this has been causing you, clearly causing you distress. A lot. Has it been interfering at all with relationships? Well, Yes, I would say um, I haven't been able to go out with my friends. I don't. I just don't want to do anything. My friends are always trying to get me to go out and you know get things off of my mind, and I just don't have a desire to. I don't really want to be around anyone. Do you find that uh, your mood's irritable or any anger outbursts? All the time. Yeah, that happens frequently. Yeah, I'm on edge a lot. Do you feel like that your behavior has become reckless, like taking more chances? Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Somewhat? Yeah. yeah. How about your memory of the accent? Does, is it constant or does your memory change, like you lose some of that memory? Well, there are times when, where it's, as clear as a bell and then other times people ask me details about the accident and I can't remember a thing. You can't remember any of it? No. No. So the memory kind of comes and goes? It does, mm. yes. Who do you hold responsible for the accident? Well, everybody tells me that I shouldn't but I, I, I hold myself responsible for it. I mean, I try to try going a different way home from work one day. It was a way that I've never gone before and you know, somebody cut me off and I slammed into them. But if I didn't go that way, I would have never gotten into the car accident. Did the other driver get a ticket for the accident? I think he did. I think he got a ticket for, for reckless driving or failure to yield or something, mm -hmm. but I mean, if I wasn't on that road, 
then neither of us would have been in the accident. So you still blame yourself? Yeah. Yeah. How about your emotional state uh, since these symptoms have started? Has it been mostly unhappy or down, neutral, any time when you're happy? No, nothing seems to make me happy anymore. I'm just always depressed. Just Your mood's always down? Yeah. How about uh, with driving? Like, so have you been avoiding driving? Or, or have, you, have you driven since the, the accident? I have, but I don't, if I don't have to. Like, I, I, I definitely avoid going places like if I'm making dinner and I'm missing an ingredient then I'll just go without it before driving to the market I just I don't want to be behind the wheel of a car All right. so you're avoiding it but you have driven I uh, have. tell me about the experience when you go to drive oh boy so I have to I have to almost prepare myself hours in advance because it's so hard for me to get out the house. In just, terms of anxiety or yeah, what, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. I'm just having like knots in my stomach mm. and you know shortness of breath. My my chest is pounding. I'm just fearful. Just it's it's a lot. It's very overwhelming. It's very stressful. It is. Do you find that when you are driving um, that you are more aware of what other cars are doing and what you're doing in your car? Yeah, probably more so now than ever. I'm I'm just always looking out, making sure that I don't cause another car accident. I'm I'm driving slower, I'm you know, I'm waiting longer to, to switch lanes. It's just yeah, definitely. The more aware of your surroundings. Definitely. So when something surprises us, there's a natural response where we're startled. This is called a startle response. Mm -hmm. And everybody has that. Have you noticed that that's changed for you since these symptoms have started? Yeah. How's it changed? Anything, everything startles me anymore. The doorbell ringing, the phone ringing, just, you know, somebody getting up to move their chair, any little sound, it just has me like looking over my shoulder to see what's going on. And you find yourself jumping? Yeah, a lot. You... Okay. How about your ability to concentrate? Has that changed at all? It has. It decreased a lot. Um, I haven't really been able to concentrate on anything. I have things all over my house where I've started things and moved on to something else because I can't concentrate on one thing. All right, how about um, sleeping? How you doing sleep? Not too good. Um, I'm not getting a lot of sleep at all these days. I'm up all hours of the night sometimes. Um, I just wake up for no reason. Sometimes I'll wake up out of a, out of a dream Mm -hmm. Just scared. I'm just, I'm not sleeping well at all. All right, so a lot of challenges to sleep. Yes. Do you use any drugs or alcohol? No. No. How about medical problems? Never. Nothing no. like that. Are there times from when these symptoms started when you feel kind of separated from your own body? Like, like it's like an unreal experience. I've had I've had a couple experiences like that. Yeah. Can you can you tell me about this? Well, there was one time I I was at work and we were sitting in the cafeteria and just all of a sudden everything seemed to start going in slow motion and. I could hear people talking, but it sounded very slow. It was like, it's hard to describe, but I 
could see everything, but it just wasn't moving at a normal pace. I kind of felt like I was watching a movie almost. And that's happened at least two, two or three times. And I didn't really understand what was going on. Um, a friend of mine told me, she said that I was kind of like spaced out and she was like snapping her fingers in front of my face and I could, I could see her, but I couldn't really hear what was going on. And then I just like snapped out of it. And everybody was sitting around staring at me and you know, they were talk talking about what was going on and I had no idea what was happening. But it was very embarrassing. You know, they, they were watching me like I was a movie. Hmm. This, is, this has happened a few times. Yeah, in a couple different, a couple different um, locations. One time I was at work, one time I was at school. And, you know, th these things just happened out of the blue. How about a time when you felt like the world became unreal? So you're, you're not detached from your body, but the world bec becomes unreal or dreamlike or distorted. Have you ever had that happen? No. No, it's more, more being separated from your body, more that feeling? Yeah. Okay. And you mentioned like the f time slowing down. Yeah, very, very like slow motion. Slow like, motion. Yeah, like you were watching a movie in slow motion. The sound and everything was just dragging. Jessica, I'm going to get you in to see a counselor here, if you're okay with that. Yes, I think that would be okay. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to explain these symptoms. I know they're distressing for you, and for taking the time to answer my questions. It's been helpful for me to help figure out what's going on and help manage your care. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Thanks.